We looked through an archive of um, 650 hours of data from the Green Bank Telescope, uh, searching for these radio flashes, uh, and we, uh, we found one flash in that data. What's different about this source is that we detect its polarization and the fact that the polarization rotates with wavelength on the sky. Uh, and that's due to magnetized material at the source. The magnetized material near the source may be evidence that uh, the source came out of a supernova explosion from a star that had a magnetic field to begin with. A fast radio burst is a flash of radio brightness that appears on the sky, lasts about a second, and then disappears and never repeats. We don't know where they come from. They seem to be coming from a very great distance outside of the Milky Way. They outshine the emission of an entire galaxy at the same distance. The first report of a fast radio burst was in 2007, uh, and there are now 12 that have been discovered altogether. When we find these objects, we can't localize them very accurately on the sky, so we don't know what source they come from. Uh, what type of object created this explosion or flash of brightness? Is it an explosion? Is it something like an exploding star? Is it something like a spinning neutron star that flashes? Black holes combining together uh, can create, possibly, radio flashes like this. There are many possible candidate models for these sources. First we need to sort out the source of these objects. That's unknown now and we need to discover where they're coming from. That's first. Uh, then we uh, need to increase the number that we have. We estimate that there are 2,500 fast radio bursts each day. So we hope to be detecting not just 10 in five years, but 10 every day in the next generation of telescopes. And then we can begin using them to map out the universe and study the magnetic fields in space and study uh, turbulence in the material between us and the sources. There are many applications for these objects. This project has been an enormous amount of fun. It's been very exciting to discover this event. Um, we, it's a bonus for us. We collected the data for another purpose and uh, now we found this uh, very interesting radio burst in the data. Uh, we found it in the spring and it's just been a series of discoveries.